I reviewed the 1991 animated film. I reviewed the 2017 remake. So it only makes sense that I actually get to review the Christmas movie. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. So Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas has most of the original cast from the 1991 animated film Beauty and the Beast. So when it comes to describing the plot for Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas, it's kind of pointless because all I can really say is it's just like the 1991 animated film except there's events that happen in between the events of the animated film you know Belle tries to change the beast she is still a prisoner like I know it's not the best way to describe the plot but that's really all I could say for this film watching Beauty and the Beast the Enchanted Christmas I thought it was pointless to be honest there was no reason for this to be made it just felt like Disney wanted to make a straight to DVD movie and just cash in on the holiday of Christmas. I don't by any means hate this film, but man, is it so pointless. There really is no reason for this film to exist, yet it exists. There are some good things I could say about this film. I do think for the most part, the animation is very beautiful to look at. It's not as visually captivating as something like the 1991 animated film, but I do think the animation for the most part is actually pretty dang solid. It does look very colorful and nice. There's a musical number in this film and you don't get a lot of them, but there's one in particular and they sing the same musical number twice. There's no place like Christmas. I thought that was actually a very nice musical number. I will say the first time they sing it is just a little bit better, but both times that they did sing that musical number, I did think it was very nice and I actually did think it was one of the better moments when it came to this film. The characters are the same characters that I do come to enjoy from the 1991 anime film. I should say love. Like I adored the characters in the 1991 anime film and I still do really love them here in the Christmas film. Film, as far as the original characters go at least. Here and there I'd say there are some cute moments and I will say the voice acting is actually very good. I did really like the voice acting. Um, you pretty much have everyone from the original film back here. Really the only one I could think of that wasn't in this film is Bradley Pierce from the 1991 animated film who voiced Chip and obviously that's because he's gotten a little older since then. So this time around Haley Joel Osment actually voices Chip in this film, which I thought was a very interesting thing to find out, but I have to say, um, Haley Joel Osment did a very good job voicing Chip. He sounded just like Bradley Pierce in the 1991 animated film, uh, in my eyes at least, and I thought he did a very good job. And I will say, when it comes to this organ, because they do introduce an organ character, um, he looks more three-dimensional and the way they kind of blended him being this three-dimensional um, Thing combined with the traditional stuff. I actually will say that was pretty impressive However, while there are some cute moments in Beauty and the Beast with really one musical number sung twice that I did really like as I've said, this really is such a pointless movie because the thing about Beauty and the Beast The Enchanted Christmas is it's showing events that happen in between the events of the 1991 animated film to fill in, I guess, the gaps. So we get to see things from this character named Fife who is this flute, and then we see things from the point of view of this organ. So this organ and this flute that we did not see in the original film, they're somehow involved in the story of the original film. It's just kind of funny how Disney expects me to believe that in the events of the original film, a freaking organ, I would say the organ, most definitely has an effect on what happened in the 1991 film, even though, like I said, that organ has no part. The same thing does go with Fife. Otherwise, they would have just included those characters in the 1991 animated film 
in the first place. And speaking of this organ, he's just your generic Disney antagonist. Basically as generic as pretty much any other antagonist you would happen to see in these direct-to-DVD Disney movies. He's voiced by Tim Curry and Tim Curry actually does do a very good job voicing him. I will say that. Tim Curry brings a lot of life when it comes to voicing this organ, but when it comes to this organ, all he really does in the movie is convince the Beast that Belle just isn't the right one for him, how he should just forget about Belle. The Beast hates Christmas and all that. And I just thought that was pretty ridiculous. Like, you mean to tell me the organ is gonna come between the Beast and Belle? You really expect me to believe that, Disney. I'm not buying it. As far as this flu character, Fife, I didn't like this character. I actually got pretty annoyed by him. I wouldn't say I downright hated this character or anything. I wouldn't go that far. I just really did not like this character. He was so, so... So freaking pointless. There are a few musical numbers in this film. There's not a whole lot of them like with the 1991 feature, but there are a few. And I gotta say, aside from There's No Place Like Christmas, the other musical numbers I thought were pretty forgettable. While in the animation department it was nice, just in the flow of the musical number, I really just was not getting into it to be honest. And you know, I did mention how most of the animation is really good, but there are times where I have to be honest, the animation really didn't look that good. Like it, it kind of looked rather stiff when it came to just animating the backgrounds, maybe even the characters looked a little bit off in certain shots. And something I've noticed about this film is that even the voice didn't always fit with the mouth, like the sink was out of place at times too. Most of it was actually pretty good, but sometimes, man, was it really out of sync. And I don't know how they get got away with letting that stay in the film, but they really could have fixed some moments when the characters are talking, especially when it came to the organ. There were some times when he's talking, and when he's talking, the mouth didn't open exactly as he's saying the words. It was very distracting. And really my last criticism with this film is that the climax is pretty rushed and I think the ending of the film in general is very rushed. Not to mention that the story is just so generic. Whereas the 1991 animated film actually had really strong writing that really told its story in such a beautiful manner. This anime film's like, let's just go ahead and add these events that supposedly happen in between the events of the original film, even though there really is no point to that at all. Overall, Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas, I think it's just fine. Like, it's harmless. It's not anything offensive. The problem I just had with it is that it did not need to happen. It was so unnecessary. It's one of the most unnecessary Christmas movies I've ever seen. And it's such a shame because I love Beauty and the Beast. The 1991 animated film is one of my favorite animated films of all time. I really was hoping to at least like this one. I didn't have to love it like with the 1991 animated film. But I wish I just liked this one and I have to say I didn't really like it. Yes, there's some cute moments and I still like the original characters. Not the new characters like with the organ or Fife, but I did still like the original characters. Animation is nice for the most part, but yeah, this is not something I'm really going to remember. It's just generic, it's predictable, and most of all, it really is so unnecessary. I'm going to give Beauty and the Beast The Enchanted Christmas 2 out of 4 stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about Beauty and the Beast The Enchanted Christmas. This is 20 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.